you have a gift and you want people to be able to accept that gift you know here's my gift this is what I do I make a really good biscuit and if you're willing to sit down here and enjoy that you can have my gift Monica Meg, I'm the chef and co-owner of the Nickel Diner in downtown Los Angeles. My name is Kristen Trattner. I am the owner, uh, other uh, owner, and, other ri owner. and ringleader, and ringleader of the Nickel Diner. We found the space in 2006. It took us a year and a half to raise funds. The recession was starting. Nobody was giving money to women much less women opening a restaurant on Skid Row. So, I mean, we were like three strikes in terms of why, actually five strikes, about why, we should, why you shouldn't open a restaurant. To make a really good buttermilk biscuit, you need flour, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt for flavor. It's not a yeast bread. It's leavened with baking powder, baking soda. So you're gonna bring that together We've added liquids, which is primarily buttermilk. We've added a little bit of heavy cream for richness and a little bit of milk for just general viscosity. And then we add butter to it, which is the universal deliciousness that ties everything together. The texture when you mix the flour and butter together to be sort of like a crumbly sand. Once that's achieved, we add the buttermilk liquid together and it just comes together in this kind of like shaggy, damp dough. Mix it all together, dump the liquid, scoop them, drop them in flour, flour them light, put them in a pan, put into an oven. We do a hot oven, about 325 with a convection fan. Cook them for about 40 minutes, pull them out, brush them with melted butter, and then you have utter deliciousness. They should taste like hot butter love. That's what they should taste like, hot, crumbly butter love, and then they taste even better when we add our homemade strawberry jam on top. I have a, an Italian grandmother and I have a Midwest grandmother, and they both taught me the best of both worlds. And I remember Sunday mornings uh, at my Nana Johnson's house, and I would go in and she would get up and she would make biscuits. That's what she did, make biscuits for Sunday morning. And, you know, that idea of waking up to that hot butter smell was tremendous. And so when I make them here, that, somehow that, you know, memory translates into this bread and people respond to it. The real gift of her bread is she makes people think of their grandmothers and that their memories pop up and it, you know, it's, it's phenomenal, you know? Yeah. Yes. I mean, I've never witnessed anything like that where all different ethnicities will hit the same note. And, you know, it's, it's not the same bread as people make in where, Brazil or in Georgia. Right. And yet it goes or to the Or Virginia same place. or Kansas or wherever folks are coming from. So she's hitting their grandmothers somehow. And I think that's what makes this unique is you're eating from women's hands. And especially from a woman who has been trained by her grandmothers because you don't taste grandmother in food very much anymore. You know, leftover biscuits on Sunday, everybody knows, like come by the nickel, you get a biscuit. We give them out to the neighborhood. Folks on the street, especially a lot of folks who are either unhoused or sort of like in our low income housing around us, it was a way for us to develop trust in our community, you know, and to show who we are and that we feed people.